Hello everybody, Hunter here for a brand new video today. And let me just say, before we start today's video, thank you for like over 200 views within a day on the last video. I guess people really from the subreddit liked that video and it just got a lot of traction, so that was crazy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I made a video yesterday on how to fix a certain error code on the Xbox 360. And I kind of thought I would do that today with this keyboard. Um, if you guys don't know, I have the Royal Kludge typewriter style keyboard. It doesn't have a specific name, like, you know, the RK35 or RK61. I don't know if those are actual keyboards that Royal Kludge makes, but... Yeah, this is literally just referred as the Royal Kludge Typewriter Style Keyboard. That's legit what it's called. But what you might not know, because it's not very noticeable, but the fact that you can customize this thing very easily. There's so many different customizers for this thing that you can use. So, let's get into some, you know, just random ones. So, first... We have FN and pause. So we're going to do those. That activates this. This is like a solid color mode. It's kind of like just different colors if you want it. You know, just different colors. Then we get back to the rainbow. So now we go on to FN delete. If you don't end up noticing, FN delete ends up becoming really, you know, important. This changes it so that the rainbow is going up and down. You know, it, you know, it kind of, it, it's kind of like a bookshelf. It's horizontal. All right. And then if we press it again, we have another kind of like configuration here. This is kind of like a random. Everything's just kind of randomize, you know, it just kind of gets all random. Now we do it again. Now we're kind of like, it goes from the center outward. It's kind of like a pulsing effect. It's really cool. Then we got this one where it's like every color is different and they all change. It's kind of like almost like a crystally effect. Like everything's different and then it kind of changes. And then we have this one. It's, it's kind of like a cool wavy effect. You know, it's just kind of like a cool wave spawning kind of at the middle. Then this is like kind of the same thing, but a little quicker and going other ways. Then we kind of have it again. And now we have, it's going each row. It's really cool because, yeah. And... Okay, yeah, now we have another kind of randomized one. Again, this keyboard, like I said, has a lot of options. All right, now we're back at the beginning. So that one's kind of messing around with the rainbow and giving it different effects. So now if we do FN plus INS, I don't 100% know what that button does. This one is a solid color. And again, remember how I said FN pause? This one goes for many different things. So we have this, but then we can change it. This one is more just kind of a solid color one. That one was like a rainbow. But yeah, now we're going to press INS again. And now we get to the kind of ones where it's kind of the uh, touch effect. So we go. You know, and it kind of swaps colors. But then we get to the cooler one. So we're going to press INS again. Also, something I really want to show you guys is if you get FN plus one of the arrow keys, it kind of does different effects. So we're going to press, if you do FN um, left or right, it speeds up the effect. So, bop, bop, bop. Up, super fast, or you can make it really slow. Okay, we're gonna put that up to like normal speed, and then you can make it really bright or really dim to nothing. So now we're gonna press INS again. This one is like everything's on, it's a reverse effect. So boom, 
Boom. Boom, 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 ba -dum, boom, boom, boom. It's kind of like the reverse of what the last one was. Now we have just one row. So it only affects like one row. So we're going to do that again. This one is, it has like all of them on, but it kind of like, um, you know, turns it off and then slowly turns it back on. We'll see what like kind of like these um, keys here. I'll, I'll kind of get on. Notice how they kind of turn off. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, we're going to do that again. Now we get back to the solid colors. Now we're going to do FN plus home. And what this does is this turns on the breathing colors. There isn't much to this one. It's just simply breathing colors. Yeah, nothing really happens here. But it does look like if we do different colors, it'll kind of start. It'll start on that color. So now, FN page up. This one is like this. This is like what you call the um the smorgasbord. It's taking every color and scattering it across the board and randomizing it. It's it's just crazy. Like you know, you you can just do like everything at this point. Now we get to solid. Now we get to like slow changing. You know, it kind of goes between all of them. But yeah. And a helpful tip whenever you don't want these and you want to go back to the normal, just get FN and hold delete for three seconds. Alright, never mind. I guess it did it instantly for us. But. Here's something really cool. You can actually customize this thing. You can give everything a different key. So, first, we're going to get FN plus 1. So, we're going to go FN. If I can get my finger across. Because, again, I'm, like, recording this with, like, one hand right now. So, we're going to get FN plus 1. Everything turns off except for the number, you know, bright lights. So now you gotta go FN plus F11. So I gotta get FN plus F11. So now it's turning on, now it's recording it. So when you press these buttons, now what should happen? It goes through the colors and it'll save it eventually. So I, uh, whatever. Comment down below if you got what I just said. Comment down below if you understand what I just said. But yeah, and then after you're done, we do that again, that FN plus F11. And now it's saved. So, you know, now we have this. Now if we actually go FN delete, you know, it goes back to this, but if we do, um, I think, yep, it goes to our customized background. So you can switch to this whenever you want. But, yeah, I just kind of thought I'd make this video because, one, for people that, you know, kind of didn't know about this, that you can do so many different things with your keyboard, you know, especially if you have the typewriter style keyboard that there's so many, like, un, you know, unknown powers that this thing has. It's crazy. But, yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for over 200 views on that video from yesterday. It's crazy. It's still going up. And, yeah... Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!